This is a song called Barbed Wire Belly Curl. Okay. There's a barbed wire fence way down in the canyon. Are we inside or outside the line? You step over it, I go through it, and the kid belly crawls cause they're five. If you knew what it was like to be on both sides of me, I'm going farther this time. Yeah, I'm going farther this time. Steps into the tavern where the bright lights ease the mind. The band gets an encore and the farmer stiff poor and we're all getting closer this time. Yeah, we're all getting closer to fine. If you knew what it was like to be on both sides of me, I'm going farther this time. If you knew This time, yeah, I'm going farther this time. There's a barbed wire fence way down in the canyon. Are we inside or outside the line? I live in a town of a small town, and um, I think um, I am representing kind of a vein of songwriting that can come from a smaller place and it doesn't necessarily have to come from a huge urban center you know it can spring up and I, I've just like I've learned so much from um, from living in a small town in a rural place like the oral tradition is very strong is that the same here like the oral tradition in like villages and I don't know sometimes like in a smaller town it's kind of held on to better and the stories are passed down through families and passed down through traditions more so than in a big city. I can, I don't know, it's sometimes, like sometimes in a city everything is moving forward, whereas in a smaller town they're taking time to like remember where they came from. Also like gratitude and like just remembering um, what happened in the past and like learning from history. Like looking backwards and saying, okay, here are the things I have to be grateful for and here are the ways that people in the past messed up and here's how we can make it better in the future you know very important <laughs> um poho real was gerda poho real like gerda taro was a, a she was a photojournalist and um she was active during the spanish civil war so she was sort of a um an anti-nazi um activist and she covered the spanish civil war um and she was kind of she worked under a pen name Robert Kappa and so there's this her story is just is pretty amazing and she died while she was like working on like covering the war so um her I know that like in the Basque country I saw like on a store it was called Poho Real and I'd never seen that word before and I'm like you like how do you even say this word what is this and and so I just learned of the story of Gerda Taro and I thought it'd be cool to kind of do a nod, because her story is so powerful and is like just something that I saw in the Basque country, so it just tied together like some things. Well, I, uh, I tend to use a lot of the first person narrative in my songs, and I'm aware of that, and it's kind of funny. Um, but um, I think they're all inspired by, sometimes they feel more autobiographical, but they're not, sometimes it's just a loose inspiration, you know? Um, so it's not always this is exactly what happened to me, but this I can kind of take on different characters But I do tend to write from like I use I you know I use the first person even if it's just talking about a character Sometimes I'll get in their shoes and write it from that perspective. I Like when an audience is listening, but they're still responsive so they're listening but if they feel moved they might say something or like I like when they are engaged you know 
I like, yeah. When they're, when they feel like when they're, they let their guard down and they don't feel self-conscious. I want to, I want to make people feel at ease when I'm performing. I want them to feel good and happy in their body and just, you know, present. So. Oh, what do I pine for these days? A good cup of coffee? Um, clean sheets in a hotel bed? <laughs> um, going swimming. I pine for swimming. That's our goal. Before we leave Denmark, we're going to try to go swimming. <laughs>